What's going on guys, Biddy here, and it has been quite some time since my last upload, about a month or so. Uh, the reason why I haven't uploaded for a bit is because I was focusing on school, because it was the last month of my semester at Rutgers. And yeah, that all went well. I actually just finished my finals yesterday, so let's go. Uh, hope you all are having a good time during this pandemic and are making the most of it and staying safe. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try my best to get back into some VGC content, starting off with going over this new team I have been working with and enjoying. So at the start of the month, Series 4 became a thing, which really didn't change too much except made five new Pokemon uh, Dynamax forms legal, which are Gengar, Garbodor, Copperaja, Duraludon, and the one you see on screen, Machamp. Uh, I really only see good use out of maybe Gengar and Machamp. Uh, Duraludon's G-Max, I, I honestly do not fully know it. I, from what I heard, it just depletes a Pokemon's most recently used move by two, and I also heard it reduces all of them by two. But nonetheless, it really doesn't sound promising and feel like Steel Spike would be better, almost always. Same thing with Kaparaja, I mean, he sets up spikes with his, which, eh, it's not, a, like, it's more of a singles type uh, G-Max move for me. Uh, that's why we really don't see spikes or Stealth Rock. Again, Steel Spike, I feel, would be um, better. And uh, Garbodor's poisons his opponents, which... Again, like, if you're gonna poison them, you might as well burn, because they don't suffer any negatives from being poisoned, except taking a little damage each turn, each turn while burn also does that, as well as reduces their attack, so. Doesn't, just seems a bit underwhelming, and of course, special attack boost is good. And also, what sucks about that one is, it, you don't even get, like, it's still the same power as if it was Max Ooze. Which, I get why Max Ooze, Max Knuckle, and... Yeah, Max Ooze and Max Knuckle are 95 power. Is it? Be it's because like why like have the move that boosts your attack be strong? So, but yeah, it's 95 power, but all it does is poison them. So it's very not worth it. And then there's Gengar and Machamp. Now Gengar's uh, I think it's called G Max Terror. It locks your opponents in like after being hit by it so like pretty much like a like a shadow tag um while that is good the only downside is gengar is more on the fragile side so and, and when gengar dies that effect at least i'm not fully sure because i haven't played it yet but to my knowledge that effect will go away so it's it's okay but the last pokemon here is machamp and obviously he has G-Max Chai Strike, which boosts your critical hit chance. Now, this is where I'm going to start by talking about where this team came together. That I really enjoy, by the way. Uh, it all started with Leafeon, as you see in the top right. Now, as you, some of you may know, Wolfie Glick, aka Wolchi, ah, Wolfie VGC, made a video about two months ago, a series of videos about Leafeon, and then getting to number one with Leafeon. And seeing Leafeon, I'm like, huh, something's, like, interested me. Not only a physical chlorophyll Pokemon at the start of a meta where Venusaur came in and Sun Teams became way more popular. Uh, being able to get both Max Quake and Steel Spike also piqued my interest. As well as generally being a pretty bulky Pokemon, at least on the physical defense side. Uh, so I was like, you know what, maybe I'll try working this out. So I got to thinking, like, hey, Torkoal is a good Trick Room Pokemon and has Drought. So why don't I try making this a half Sun, half Trick Room team? Which, don't get me wrong, is definitely not, like, an uncommon thing, especially at the start of this series. Uh, so I was like, fuck it. Why not try to make this work? And also I wanted a reason to use NDD because Follow Me is just really good. <laughs> and also I gave it safety goggles to um, avoid... Uh, like sleep powder and whatnot, because obviously Venusaur is pretty popular. And yeah, I started off with those two. Uh, no, well, I would say those three: Torkoal, 
uh, Leafeon and Indeedee. Yeah, so I gave gave it Swords Dance, Iron Tail, Dig, Leaf Blade. Of course, not having Protect can make it a bit scary at times, but it's more of like a, either a very beginning Dynamax and attack or like a late game like Sweeper after like a Trick Room type thing. I don't know. The thing is, there's a decent amount of mixes you can do with this team, which why, which is why I enjoy it. Uh, so yeah, I start off with those three, and then obviously Togekiss and Dusclops. Uh, Dusclops, the Trick Room setter, only makes sense. And Togekiss, I have as a Super Luck Scope Lens Togekiss. Now, this is where it ties into Machamp. Uh, Super Luck and Sculpt Lens. Having both of those on Togekiss makes it so Togekiss's moves all have a 50% chance of getting critical hit. Now, Machamp, going back to his G-Max move, increases your critical hit chance. So if you have Togekiss and Machamp out, what, let's say like you have Machamp, Dusclops, and you set up Trick Room. So let's say you switch in Togekiss and then use Chai Strike. It will increase both of your critical hits, and thus making Togekiss's moves a 100% chance of critting. That's pretty wild. Granted, it is a pretty big gimmick, I know, but that's my shit. I love gimmicks. Granted, the moveset on it could definitely be better. Uh, I like kind of flubbed around with it, like tried different things. I actually have different another form of this team before uh, Machamp was thrown in. Uh, it's pretty much just replacing Machamp with Rhyperior, um, having Boldles instead of Haze on Dusclops, and Togekiss being more of a support with Serene Grace, Baberi Berry. And then, like, I think it was like Follow Me, Yawn, Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam. But then the other three were the same. Uh, so, yeah, those were the two forms of the team that I used. And I kind of like enjoyed this version. Granted, I enjoy both. I honestly haven't played with this team in a bit since uh, I first made this team like about um, like a month ago or something like that. Like about the time that um, I stopped uploading. <laughs> and then there was also another team that I was using, which you saw in the highlights video. That was like a big team that I was using. A more meta one, I would say, with Tyranitar, Sylveon, Excadrill, Rotom Wash. Mimikyu and Dragapult, I think it was, yeah. Yeah, so I was using that team, and then I wanted to try this one out, and I'm, I'm like enjoying it so far. I have one match in this video also that I will show you, and granted, it doesn't really show off the gimmick or like, it doesn't show too much, but it is it is very interesting. You'll, you'll see once the match starts. But it's definitely the most interesting uh, turn one that I have. But honestly, let me know what you think about the team. Sorry if you heard that, I was clicking my mouse there. Let me know what you think about the team. Um, EVs, it's nothing too extreme. I'm pretty sure I have max HP attack on Machamp in Trick Room mode. Uh, I have max attack and speed on Leafeon. I have, I have some small mix of defenses in Torkoal, but mainly special attack and HP. HP and defense on NDD. I honestly forget the Togekiss one, but I'm pretty sure I made it more bulky to like have it live and not it just be a glass cannon that'll die right away. And then yeah, uh, mixed defenses and yeah, I said that for Dusk Ops. But yeah, I'm gonna get hop right into the match and yeah, check it out. Alright, so here we are going into the match. This uh, actually was recorded quite a bit ago, so I honestly don't remember a lot that happened outside of the first turn, and you will see why it stands out specifically. Uh, but nonetheless, I enjoyed this team. Like, again, it's pretty gimmicky with the Machamp. Uh, even with Viperior, I enjoy it. It's a simple concept, and you can just play it plenty of different ways. Um, but yeah, he's gonna lead Ninjask and Pissimian, and I'm gonna lead Dusclops Machamp. And I'm like, okay, I wonder what this guy's gonna do, and you will see what happens. Probably, like I said, the most interesting turn one I have had in a while. Uh, this match wasn't long in general, you will see why as it goes on. Um, but as soon as this uh, communicates. But yeah, I'm going to be uploading more soon, don't worry. I have another video, the next one after this is going to be two more battles with this team, and I will talk over them. I also need to stream more, and I'm going to record more, like, live uh, sessions, where, like, 
I, what I think of my decisions instead of like post commentary. This is just like more convenient for me at the moment. Okay, so he is going to Dynamax his Basimian at the start. I am going to Dynamax my Machamp. <laughs> and you will see what happens. Because I, I saw Ninja ask him like, what well, is he going to set up speed boosts and baton pass or something? Like, like what, what, could, what could possibly... And this is Master Ball tier, by the way, so this isn't like start of like the series type shit. Like, I, I will admit it is pretty creative and I do enjoy it. If you like, because of how much I'm stressing it, you may know what's going to happen. But yeah, dude, also G-Max Mutant Champ looks pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. Looks pretty sick. Alright, so, Ninja is going to final Gambit. Does it almost like have my HP because it does? I'm pretty sure it does the total of its HP to the opponent, and then it died. And Pasimian's ability is receiver, which if his partner dies, it gets their ability. So he gets so he has a Pasimian with speed boosts. So that was I, I saw that and I was like, damn, that's pretty freaking creative. Um, but yeah, it really don't matter in this scenario because yeah, I mean I do Rockfall because I was gonna go for it on the Ninjask. And then I get the Trick Room set up with Dust Clops. So it's not really not really anything too scary on my end. And honestly, this Pazimian I feel can't do too much. Yeah, you may be able to take out my Machamp, but nonetheless, I feel like I'll get the benefits from Trick Room uh, pretty well here. And yeah, he does get speed boost, but again, in this scenario, it does not help him out. I really do enjoy having a half trick room, a half sun team, honestly. Like, especially when it come when it will come to like best of three type setting. Alright, what do I do here? Like I said, I haven't watched this yet, so I'm finding out with you guys. I'll probably I'll, yeah, ally switch in case uh, goes for like a max knuckle into Machamp. It'll like not work with the dust clops. And then uh yeah, since I really don't care about the Basimian, I'm just gonna rock fall to kiss. Cause if I if I am correct, I believe I have Torkoal and Togekiss in the back. Ah, uh, yeah, so I do Rockfall, get rid of the- Also, I was thinking of the fact that, like, oh, Togekiss could be- could use Follow Me, which then would, um... What's it called? Uh, like, I, that's why I didn't want to do anything specific for the Pasimian, because of Follow Me, so I'd rather just attack Togekiss. Also, I think I forgot to mention, it's a Salt Vest, uh, Machamp. Which I enjoy, because Machamp also has decent defenses. I believe it's like 80 defense, 85 special defense, 90 HP. Which is really not bad, so giving it all attacks and Assault Vest I feel is pretty optimal. And uh, Bullet Punch, Stone Edge, Dynamic Punch, and Knock Off, I believe. Knock Off also being good to have. And it has Dynamic Punch and Stone Edge because its ability is No Guard, meaning um, it, it, its moves can't miss. Um, but you can only do attacking moves. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So it makes sense to have Assault Vest, pretty much. Uh, okay, so, right here... <laughs> right here... Wait, oh, snap, I missed what he did before. I think he did a, An air... Sh Man, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty bad at this. This is more of an update video, of anything, in all honesty. But... Yeah, I do Eruption here because, uh, ooh, I, gotta, I f don't know which one of that. I think that was a crit on the Togekiss. Because I feel like if it was a crit on the Pissimia, it just would have killed. I go for the Haze here. I think he did a... Oh yeah, no, he did. He definitely did a Steel Spike. He did a sp Steel Spike the first turn at the very least. So, I got rid of that. And he might have knuckled as well. And he quaked there, expecting an ally switch. That's also why I didn't want to go for an ally switch, because... If you expose it, you give the idea that, oh, you may go for Alex Switch again. So that's kind of a mind game thing. Obviously, something I've talked about in the past. Uh, yeah, you get a special defense boost, but, like, it really doesn't matter at this point. Uh, your last Pokemon, Diggersby, not really going to help you. And I believe there's still two more turns of Trick Room. Yeah, two more turns of Trick Room. So even if you protect, double protect this turn, I'll still get at least one Eruption off. And Eruption will definitely take out Pissimian. And then I believe I go. I think it was Nightshade I click on. Uh, but he forfeits. It's GG. And yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, expect another one soon. Uh, hopefully in the next few days. 
more like commentary over this team and then I have another team I'm going to be showing you guys the week after. Or like, not exactly sure when, I don't have a set schedule, but nonetheless, hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.